introduce yourself and tell everybody who you are and where you coach. I'm Gracie, uh, coach Lady Thunder. We're from Westmoreland, uh, Tennessee. Okay, so tell me about your team. Um, fourth graders, I have a couple third graders on the team. Some of them played last year. <laughs> Some of them played last year, and uh, they've improved a lot since last year. I enjoy coaching them. They're good kids. So did you guys play already today? We did. We played earlier against um, Barron County, I think, and we won, so that's good. Okay, so tell me some of the things that your team does well. Um, we work as a team. We always play hard most of the time. Um, don't always have all the athleticism or fundamentals there, but normally always play as a team and work hard. So. Okay, so what, is, what are some of the things that you think that, that you guys have gotten better on over the course of maybe the season just started? But what are some of the things that, that you see your team getting better on? Um, ball handling. Uh, and last year that was a big issue. We only had like one person that could handle the basketball. This year they're all around. I trust pretty much anybody to handle the basketball. So, so let me ask you this. Are you, are you providing any kind of training or do, are you mainly working on, on plays instead of fundamentals? Um, we do fundamentals. We normally like the first 30 minutes of practice work on drills, fundamentals. We have like ball handling drills we'll do and like we do three on two or 11 mans, a couple different drills and then uh, then we'll get into working on our plays and stuff. Now, I know when they're, when they're young it's hard for them to understand yeah. basketball. But you know, what, what are some of the techniques that you employ to get them to, to, to learn basketball? Uh, well, I mean we just do, sometimes we do smaller drills. It's really hard to say just off the top of my mind thinking about what exactly we do to get them better. Uh, I mean, really just drills and like when they mess up, kind of talking to them about, hey, you know, you got to have your head up if you're looking for two different passes. You can't just be a robot. You got to just go out there and play. You know, the more they play, the more they learn. So let me ask you this. What are you, what are you looking out of your team this weekend? What are some of the goals that, that you know, that you set for just this weekend? Um, I always tell my team every weekend that definitely want to win, but I would rather have a loss and play hard than a win and play bad. If they're going to play hard. I, I want them to. I want them to lose or win. Either way, I definitely want to win. But I mean, if we uh, if we play hard, that's always my goal: to play hard, play as a team, and come out getting better. So, what are, what are some of the events that you guys are going to be in this year, or maybe some of the places that you that you will go? Um, I think we're going to try to play um, in Smyrna. We play there a lot. We'll probably play here some more in Bowling Green. And I think our big tournament we're going to go to this year is Gatlinburg and play. A couple years. Now, why did you start? Um, love of the game. I, um, I I had an opportunity to play college basketball. I decided not to, and I just couldn't get out of it. So I decided that I was gonna coach basketball. Started it last year, and uh, I love it. So I'm gonna continue to do it. Maybe be in my future. I'm going to school to be a teacher, so it may be in my future that I get to coach a middle school or high school team. Now, when you when you when you're teaching them. Are you teaching them from the player standpoint that because you've played the game, or are you looking more at it from the coaching standpoint? Um, I think I do a little bit of both. I think I understand some of the struggles my coaches went through now that um, that you know I'm coaching, and it's not easy. Like coaching is not an easy thing to do. I've learned a lot, definitely. Uh, but they teach you things too. Like you know, you see that every player is different, and that you have to kind of adjust to each player to make them the best that they can be.